is the um, is the documentation that basically a governor of uh, 1890 odd wrote a letter saying that he was landed in 1882 fully grown and fully grown is about 50 years of age and we have some other nice documentation in the form of a photograph which has been confirmed of being about um, 1883 1884 so just after he was landed it's a picture of him down here in the corner of the paddock and it has his dimensions on the back which is fantastic and they're about the same today in fact, if anything, their dimensions are marginally bigger than when I measure it, so he certainly hasn't grown anymore. It's a good confirmation. So he's in the, the, um, the Guinness Records, what used to be the Guinness Book of Records, as the oldest known living land animal in the world. He's doing fabulously. Yeah, since we've been feeding him once a week with um, uh, a bit of nutritious food to get him the vitamins, minerals and trace elements. He's, his beak, they call this a beak in a tortoise, has sharpened up dramatically so he can now cut grass. It was blunt when I came, crumbly. Um, and he's put on weight and he's more lively as well. I think the secret is just being completely chilled and relaxed and not caring about what's happening in the world. I'm not sure about eating grass, I get fed up with that. <laughs> I don't know, he's marvellous. I, I love animals, but Jonathan to me is a very gentle giant, crusty old reptile. And when you think, if he was hatched, not born, hatched, 50 years before 1882, 1832, the Georgian era, my goodness, the changes in the world, the world wars, the, the rise and fall of the British Empire, the many governors, kings and queens that have passed, it's quite extraordinary. And you know what? He doesn't care a damn. He doesn't give a damn. <laughs> He's just been here enjoying himself. But I think he used to be quite a wanderer. Before they were enclosed in the paddock, apparently uh, he would go up to the bishop's garden and eat the pears when they're in season. Probably could smell them then, actually. Um, and they would bring him back by levering him with a cane of bamboo along the road, which is probably a good way to manipulate a tortoise. From behind, obviously, it's just on the shell. So, um, but now he's, he's sort of in his rest home now, isn't he? The paddock at Plantation, getting special care. Whoop! <laughs> yeah. No, I do think he's fabulous, actually. He's a great animal. And one thing is worth saying, as a vet, what greater privilege is there for me to be looking after the oldest known living land animal in the world? I mean, how often does that happen? And that's what makes St. Helena so unique.